what's up guys and welcome back to another video i got some new small pieces for the car uh nothing major just some weather guards they're pretty sick and they fit so i'm gonna be putting those on today i was gonna do um the rest of my tail light tent but i actually cannot find it and i'm not sure 100 percent where i put it so maybe once i find that i'll put that on there too but um I'm gonna be dedicating this video to one of my friends who uh, recently passed away. And he's actually one of the reasons why I'm into cars as much as I am. So uh, hopefully soon I can start getting into drifting because that's what me and him bonded over the most. So I'm gonna be looking into getting a drift car soon, but we're gonna get right into it. I'm all done now guys and it's a very subtle change but definitely makes the car look a little bit different and I like it it didn't come out too bad I did kind of run into a sort of not an issue but I guess a conflict where I thought uh, these two would meet but they didn't so it's fine thought it would clash a little bit but not at all. Added that um, next dimension to the windows, for sure. And the profile of the car, it looks really good. I'm liking it. I really do need to get some tint though. That'll definitely bring everything all together. But yeah. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I think this will probably be part two of a video I already started filming where I put um, my weather guards on. My mud flaps just came in the other day. I'm really thinking I should have went with rally armor, but instead I got some A premium mud flaps because they were like way cheaper. But um, the install is gonna be interesting on these. I'm pretty sure I gotta take my rear wheels off because there's definitely no room, but the front wheels I think I can just turn them and get away with it. So, um, we're gonna see, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. Alright guys, the front is done. It's been done for a while. I just got back from the store, so I already caught some stuff. I don't know. But um, yeah, it definitely is gonna make the car look a little bit different. And they look clean on there. She's starting to come out a little bit more like I sort of imagine, well, sort of envision so far, so. Just gonna keep it moving. Yeah, the front ones are up here, they look good. But for the rears, I was gonna um, end up having to lift the car and take my wheels off, but I lost my lug nut key, like for the aftermarket lug nuts, so I can't even get my wheels off. So I'm gonna try to put the rear ones on with 3M tape. Not exactly 100% sure how that's even gonna work or hold, but uh 3m tape hasn't felt me so far so um i'm hoping that it'll work here we'll see all right she's all done the fronts are on those are super easy and now the backs are on i had to improvise a little bit but i got them on there they don't have the ex the best fitment exactly if i'm gonna be honest 
but um, they're on there and it kind of all comes together. She looks good, I think. Yeah, the, re the rear on the passenger side, I could have did a little bit better getting it to match up with the front, but it's still, you can still see it a little bit. It's kind of dark out here right now. I've been working on this pretty much all afternoon, but uh, she's looking good. I think the red adds a nice little touch to the rest of the color scheme. But uh, yeah, she's looking great. Um, I might do a little road trip add on to this too, even. Uh, I'm going to visit my grandmother soon, so that's going to be fun. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, this should be like part three of another video. I started a while ago. Um, right now, I'm not at home. I am at my grandmother's house uh, where I grew up, and I'm going to be putting my tail light overlays on finally after like forever for the car. So, um, it's gonna be like a little short section of the video, but uh, yeah, I got my heat gun and everything set up. I'm about to get my tripod set up too. And uh, next time you see it, this part of the tail light will not be red. So um, yeah, let's get started. All right, the right side is now done as well. It somehow came out worse than the first side. I got a whole bunch of wrinkles on this corner, pretty much, and then one wrinkle right here at the bottom. But I think that's as good as it's gonna get for now anyways. I plan on getting some uh, LED tail lights in the future regardless, so. I'm not gonna make a huge deal out of it, but uh, for now, it does make a big difference for the back of the car since I got um, since I got my mud flaps. Now that little extra darkness in the tail lights definitely balances it out a lot better. I'm trying to get a good angle. Not really in the sun right now, so it's kind of hard to see. But uh, yeah, she's looking. Mm -hmm. 